Hey guys, what is up? Josh Short here from Edit Video Faster. Welcome to lesson six in learning your After Effects keyboard shortcuts. This lesson is on time navigation. Let's jump right into it. All right, here we are in After Effects 2023, and these keyboard shortcuts uh, that I'm going to show in this um, quick video, uh, I've been using these the whole time I've been using After Effects, so that was like, I don't know, 2008, so we're talking at least 15 years now. These keyboard shortcuts have not changed, so if you're watching these in the future, I'm pretty darn certain that these should work for you too. All right, let's jump right into it. The first one uh, for time navigation keyboard shortcuts is to go to a specific time. Uh, and to do that, that is Option or Alt Option if you're on a Mac, Alt if you're on a Windows computer, hold down the Shift key and hit J. When you do that, this Go To Time box will pop up. It's going to tell you the time that you're currently at. If you want to go to a different time, let's say 10 frames in, just type in 10, hit OK. You can always repeat that, uh, Option or Alt, Shift and J. And then if you want to jump to, you know, two seconds in, you can do that as well. Super useful if you need to go to a specific time, uh, especially if you're on a longer sort of comp. Next up is to move between the previous and next uh, items that are available uh, in your timeline, um, such as keyframes, uh, layer markers, or the work area beginning or end. Uh, and Basically, uh, you just hit the J key or the K key, and whatever basically keyframe or item that's available for you to skip between, uh, that is going to jump your time position indicator to it. Next up, to go to a selected layer's beginning or end, After Effects calls this the in point and out point. I'm over, you know, in the NLE world most of the time, and so I don't call it the in and out point because uh, that means something else to me. But to go to a layer's uh, first frame or last frame, uh, select it and hit the I key to go to the beginning or the O key to go to the last frame of the layer. Now, the rest of these shortcuts, uh, if you are on a laptop uh, like I am, it's going to act a little bit differently. Um, so I'm going to give you both um, the full keyboard shortcut and the uh, laptop keyboard shortcut. So go to, to go to the beginning or end of your work area. Uh, if you're on a full keyboard, hold down shift and hit home or shift and hit end to go um, to the beginning or end of the work area. If you are on a laptop, hold down the function key, hold down shift, and then you can hit the left arrow or the right arrow. And that's going to take you to the beginning or end of the work area. To go to the beginning or end of a composition, uh, release that shift key. So uh, just hit the home or end key or hold down the function key and hit the left or right arrows if you're on a laptop. And these next um, keyboard shortcuts to move by frames, really remember these. These are so useful and you're going to be using these all the time. Uh, to go forward one frame, hold down the page down or hit the page down button. Every time you hit it, you're going to move a frame. If you're on a laptop, hold down the function key and the down arrow and you are going to move one frame at a time. To move 10 frames at a time, this is forward. Now add the shift key. So uh, shift and page down or function shift and the down arrow. And now you're gonna move 10 frames at a time. And to do the same thing, going backwards, I'll hit the page up key or the function and up arrow. That's going to go back one frame at a time. Tack on the shift key. So shift and page up or function shift and the up arrow. That's going to move you 10 frames at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button to see more videos like this one and the rest of the series. Go drink some water and I will see you all around in the next video.